what I'd almost describe as, as the obvious ones, such as fastenings and, and things like this. There's a list of how things should be bolted together, and almost every single car you will find a fault in that. They're usually quite minor, but it can still set people back. I was a competitor uh, back in 1999, and uh, if I could go back in time and uh, give myself uh, some good, really good advice, it would be uh, just to make sure that the car was as very well prepared as it could be. Well, I have a, a very strong memory of uh, competing at Myra, and uh, I was with the University of Leeds team. Uh, we're a very strong team. We put ourselves in a really good position on the final day of the event, and it all rested on the endurance, as so much of the competition does. And uh, unfortunately, um, whilst out on track, we had a, a cable come loose from our battery. And so we started to lose electrical power, and so our car ground to a halt about 20 yards from the finishing line. Um. And then just the obvious ones like radiuses on nose cones and stuff. Again, it's the kind of stuff that people end up having to change. Probably one of the biggest ones for me that results in uh, students having to spend a lot of time trying to fix it is issues with the firewall, where they're trying to separate the driver from the fuel tank and the engine. And that's where those usually aren't big fixes. Those are usually the ones that take a lot of time. We saw a lot of uh, electrical um, cars appearing, which, which that has grown because of the technology that's currently available and the students are, you know, some, some did some amazing designs that, you know, we're looking at as, as professionals and having been in that hybrid industry, I'm looking at the motors that have been designed and I'm thinking, wow, you know, that is a really, really impressive result for what are brand new people to the industry. You know, when you get to the pit and you're going to try and run your car, we don't want to see the car scattered in pieces all over the place. Now, a, that's dangerous, and, and B, it just means you're probably not going to do very well. You don't see the professional racing teams with, that have electric power like Formula One or like the Le Mans cars. You don't see them scattered about the pit garage in pieces every five minutes. So they've worked it all out, they've got their, their plan together, and they work to the plan. One thing where I could see a big improvement is have a safety coordinator, as we said in the lecture theatre, you know, there's not a guy that's responsible for everybody's safety, but he makes sure that the things that should happen to be safe do happen. And that on the day, in the paddock, for example, or in the pits, when there's lots of people around, lots of stuff lying around, that's the time when you have to be the most careful. Yeah, to make sure that teams have really, uh, you know, made sure the car is competition ready and track ready, then they should really have a, a procedures list. Uh, and make sure that they've done all the uh, pre-preparation before the car actually goes on track. So for example, every nut and bolt on the vehicle should actually have a torque setting. So has that been done? Has it been indicated on the vehicle that that's been done? And so you really got to have that checklist, work your way through it, and so that you are confident when the car is out on track, you're going to get the very best performance from it. Not only that, it's going to be reliable as well. One of the key things is, is all of the students are very capable, very capable people. And one of the ways I look at it is that you need to be in the environment to put that across, be it when you're doing a static or a dynamic event. And the event timings are all laid out, and what is needed is all laid out, and they need to understand that. And a lot of people turn up to events with the wrong paperwork, or turn up late, or aren't too sure which way to go when they go onto the track or something like this. If they can look at that beforehand, just spend 10 minutes reading through the paperwork and understand what's going to happen tomorrow when they turn up, they'll arrive in a more relaxed, organised fashion and then they can get the most out of themselves.